What's up guys, it's Sher talking. In today's video, I want to talk about the new update for Romancing Saga Universe. We got a lot of new stuff, new banners, new content, and also quality of life changes. I do believe that this is probably the best update the game has received so far. I'm very hyped, the new styles are really amazing, and they are giving us so many gems that even if you didn't have any, when they release this banner, you have enough to PT at least one but they will be releasing other banners as well so let's prepare and i want to talk about tsunanori middle banner first if you don't have many gens focus on this banner first since it will give you more value tsunanori middle is a support character that brings you defense boosts also healing mvp generation on high levels he also does good enough damage and he's a meta unit for the foreseeable future we'll be using in most squads and he also uses s's words we don't have that many characters for that weapon or remembrance he is definitely a five out of five and the first one to get in this bitter i would say that the second one is a tie both Sugnus and Diva number 5 are amazing. Diva number 5 was buffed in global and got a lot of changes she can now attack on revenge that is if she gets hit she would then have a 50 percent chance to attack on overdrive and she buffs a lot her damage is insane if you manage to stack multiple chases diva number five also buffs defense when she's hit she taunts and covers she uses great swords not guns then there is Huguenus, that is a damage dealer that gets super close to Kihachi levels of power, but will benefit from Dolores in the future. The next bidder will probably be Dolores, and she buffs Slash and Shadow damage. They are built to be together, and Huguenus also brings a lot of defenses to the party, unlike Kihachi that is selfish, just about damage. So all three of them are probably 5 out of 5s, and I'll be making a full review, but it's super safe to summon for them. If you get 2 on... I don't know, one, two, or three multi pulls. You can wait for an axe banner to decide if you want the third character. But if you are probably on multi number eight and you haven't got the last one yet, it's still okay to go to the PT point because they are just that good. Now, the other banner does not offer as much value, but it's not bad at all. I will say that the first banner is a gold plus award, and the second one is either a silver plus or a gold minus. Here you have less value if you summon it for Minstrel Banner because Minstrel is a blunt specialist that gives buff break with all of your blunt attackers and that clashes a little with Bonnie. Although Bonnie will be stronger when you use it with Minstrel since he buffs blunt damage. Bonnie is a damage dealer for 8 turns. She's super amazing in that setup. She also can be used as a counter via inheritance. Well, Bonnie is really the most skippable of all then and i think she only deserves a four out of five then we have amia and formina both are good enough and they are between 4.5s and fives i'm still undecided about that amia as she is a support for both defense offense but also healing and status buff Similar to Tsuna, but Tsuna is a little easier to use. They can use it together as well. The only problem is that Amiya uses Swords if you are in need of help or remembrance. Swords is the last one that you need to care about. And Formina is a tank counter with blunt damage, and she counters the more the enemy attacks her. And she also buffs defense boost when she's hit, much like Diva number 5 also does. I do believe because of some clashing in these banners, if you don't have any gems, like I said, the Nori Meter banner is better since you can get support, defense, and healing with Tsuna and also the defense support that Formula provides without the counter, but with something similar with Jiva. But if you are a collector and you like the characters, you can pull for both. There's no mistake. We just know that there are more Saga Emerald Beyond banner coming, and if you are a free to play player, you need to. Be smart with your pulls, and the next winner is probably Dolores, like I said, and she is a very useful style for remembrance, but for hard challenges and to improve Sugnus potential. With that said, we have more stuff to talk about. For example, we can now uh, summon with tickets for old premium styles, and that is amazing. Although it takes a lot of time to get those tickets, if you click on summon details, we have five percent chances don't you like the premium pools and the styles that are belonging on this list are from the launch of the game up to day 7 of 9 2023 
So, a lot of different styles. You can see the pictures of them together reunited here, and it's free. Yes, just grind those tickets. Well, in order to grind those tickets, we have to go to the free quest system, and also let's talk about the new book, because there's something new in this new book. The first page of a new book already is different, and there are five characters here. Well, actually six, Pony and Formula are together. You have to clear the first stage, and then after that, you can click on uh, the new stages that will appear here on the book. And by doing those stages and secrets and all, you're gonna get tokens. And those tokens can be used on each of these nodes to unlock extra rewards. You can see that all by clicking on the tails. As you can see, the first thing you're gonna get are the weapons. The game will also explain to you where you get the marks, they call it marks. And after you use the marks, you're going to raise the steps to increase the levels. On step 2, you're going to get the triple S weapons. And there's also an Emerald Panel Exchange. We'll be talking about that in a few. But you can get the Emerald Exploration Super Step-by-Step -step <laughs> ticket that you can summon for the old styles, like I said. And you also can use this... Emerald Stone to forge accessories for the characters. We'll be talking about that later. Here you can see what exactly each character can improve in book farming. Improving the steps of Tuna will give you stage level experience gains. Then for Amiya, you are going to get uh, extra style experience. Increase it growth rate. Yeah, you can get status super fast in this book. Also, increase it random draw for tickets. So... This guy here, Sugnus, is the most important one if you want to get tickets. And you can get some of his uh, tokens or marks, like the game says, via the chest system. Click here on the tails and you're going to see that we have three marks here. So, just by doing the stages, you're going to get the drops. With the drops, you can open the chest. And that's it. Now, uh, we can click also on any stage, for example. And then click on the top here on the exchange bottom. And you will see the panels of the Emerald Panel Exchange. And there are 4.5 thousand gems to get from this. As you can see, it takes some time. The first gems will appear on step 5. And with higher marks level, you're going to speed up the process because you're getting more drops and all. And all. So that's day 2 and I'm already on step 16. And if you bring the new styles in your farming, you're also going to get extra effects. Okay, besides that, you will have to fight spirits in this book. Well, here on the second page in the research base, you're going to find the first spirit that is here on the innermost room. There are four difficulties for these fights. If you clear it just... Once you're gonna level the stage to 99, but you also have to clear the stage normal with Suna in your party. Yeah, uh, just bring Suna, beat the stage. You have to fight and beat four spirits in this book in the normal difficulty to get a hidden stage, and that will give you yet another weapon. Okay, the second spirit can be found on the third page on Fantasy Realm here. You can find a spirit here in the floor 4. After that, we will have uh, the road trip from Port Towns. In this stage here, there is a spirit as well. And it's on the no turn Port Town. Then the last one is on the Blazing Battlefield. Here, you can find in the west part of the stage. Besides the normal fights, we have the hard and the brutal ones. Old players will easily do the hard versions of the fights if they are bringing some defensive support. The brutal fights are extremely hard and I'll be releasing videos for those. I already beat it on my live streams, but don't mind if you cannot beat them on day one, okay? Now, we shall talk about the new changes to the farming system. There are plenty, and they are all good ones. 
For example, you can uh, enter a stage that you want to grind. And now there is this top left button you can see here. That when you click, will show you the squad that was used to beat that stage. On farming stages, it doesn't really matter because you're just farming, right? But in the brutal stages, for example, it will show you the squad that people use it. And if you use all the five protagonists from Emerald Beyond, you can actually beat some of the brutal challenges. If you have, for example, Suna, Mido, and Amiya, at least. But it's even better to use those five here without Bonnie. Like I said, she's the only selfish character. And there is a copy button. Look, it will try to copy the squad to one of your slots. You can see uh, stuff like the equipment that they use it by clicking on this button. In this case, you can see that it's probably a new player <laughs> because they didn't have anything besides the main equipment's equipment. Uh, there's also the most used styles tab that you can see the styles that have been used to clear the stage with Sunanori Middle and Jiva being on tops usually and there is also cumulative last week information then you can see also the most useful attackers defensors supporters and jammers that's pretty interesting because now people can actually communicate inside the game without really having to type anything okay but there's more quality of life stuff let's go into this stage boat trip because here we have a spirit fight now let's enter it and on the bottom left gear icon if you click you can see many options for example battle settings you should leave this verified and on animation skip verify all the options this will improve the speed of many fights and the grinding as well like removing the triggers that appears on your characters when they start the turn and that will actually make everything faster not just that there's more let's enter this fight here without uh alter match just like a normal fight to show you what happens now when you will be fighting bosses there is this bottom right button that you can click and it will increase the speed and you can click it up to two times to grind this faster if you want it but of course we will not be grinding but if it's a hard challenge some hard challenges last for like 20 turns or more they can be super long and now you can increase the speed there's also a report button when you finish a stage that you can click and it will show you the performance of your units you can click damage report and it will show you the damage for example my nadar did 2.3 million damage by himself some characters recovered hp because of passives of older characters and all you can also see by turn there are a lot of graphics pretty crazy stuff and i really like this now let's get back to the home screen, there's more stuff here. In the Emerald Festival Coop missions, as you can see in the top, you can get a lot of rewards. From the Coop part, you get 3000 gems total, but also many of the tickets that you use for the free pools on the special banner, alongside multiple celestial crystals as well, alongside many other stuff. On the solo mission rewards, you're going to get tickets and also a lot of the Emerald Stone. We're going to talk about the Emerald Stone in a few. You should go to the Forge system, click Forge again, but then click on Accessories. Here you can see the Emerald Choker on the top. That's the accessory that you want to craft. Just to compare, Draco Ring used it to give us up to 9% damage increase. Now the Emerald Choker gives way more. It's already an accessory with 4 points of SGR, Dexter, Intelligence, and Agility. So yeah, made for damage. And you only have SS or S results. And in the third slot, it's an SS guarantee. And you have multiple possible outcomes. And the first one is the best one. Emerald Seal. Saga Emerald Beyond characters. Damage will improve by 15%. So if you get this three times, this will be very useful for any Saga Emerald Beyond unit. But all the other series can only reach 12%. There's even a version of that for Saga Emerald Beyond, but for then you prefer the first one. You're gonna have to forge this multiple times to get your desired outcome and save multiple versions of the accessory. I don't really like the system, but it is what it is. Now, we also have something else. When you click on the dojo bottom, you can now improve your units way faster than before. For example, let's click on Enhance and choose a character like Creator. Now, here we have this one tap enhance button. 
that will then improve the character to the max limit and you can clip on tap enhance and it will show you what you're gonna use 54 of the dedicated style pieces and six of the blank gold pieces and also shows you the r in style experience needed to reach the max potential so you only click it once and it will reach the max value another small difference is that now the limit for r is 999 million 10 times higher than before so you can now stack so much that you will never need to use our own cases as we needed before. Well, besides that, the last addition was a new fight on Remembrance Battles. Click here, and now we can fight versus the frogs, Rena Warriors. And it's actually a pretty interesting fight. You're going to have to use... AoE attacks or row attacks in order to hit all of the Rain Warriors. They mostly attack with blunt, lightning, and cold damage, but one of them also has shadow attacks. They can inflict ailments, but I didn't get inflicted with ailments in my run. And you need a lot of defense support to survive. But I'll have dedicated videos for all of those fights. I guess that's it, guys. There is also the home screen missions, like always, but that happens with all updates. There are plenty of gens to get from home screen missions, from daily logins, and there's more content to come. It's a good moment to celebrate the game, and if you want to start the game right now, it's a very good moment. You can pull for Minstrel Banner, that's still a very useful one, and then pull for the new ones, and farm tickets to get old styles that will help you with Remembrance fights and some specific series challenges. Even though they are not as good as they were in the past, it still helps. I believe that right now is the best moment to reroll and start a new account if you have not been playing this game for too long or if you are coming from different ones like FFB. So, thank you so much for watching this video. hope this can help you. Click the like button if you can. And if you want to support the channel, there's also a link in the description. I hope to see you soon on the next one. Goodbye.